coffee, I have my pain meds, so I'm ready for some gaming. I'm gonna be working my way through some of the Novak stuff today, so let's hope we can make some progress. Sure you don't sell weapons, sure. Boone is such a sad character, but he's trying to be so tough. Oh, it makes me sad.
Okay, so I love having Boone as a companion, so that's the first thing I'm gonna do here in Novak. Also, I really don't want to go hunting ghouls with no companion, because, yeah, I don't like it to be too difficult. <laughs> It's really weird having a conversation with a character when you're staring at their back. So basically, we just gotta run around and talk to anybody we can find to try and get the information we need.
sure, whatever you say. More magazines. So many magazines today. Hey there. Here's my... Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know them two as well as I might. I remember she had an edge about her, like she'd rather be someplace else. This kind of life ain't for everyone, that's for darn sure. Losing don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more days and there won't be nothing left to lose. Every night around midnight, Alice and I wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it there, all full of holes. We'd be grateful, especially if you find them before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over it. Alice and I'll find a way to make do. Always have. Beg your pardon, ma'am, but them two-headed bees ain't worth getting shot over. Not to mention what would happen if half of what Nobark says is true. Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. I just hope it happens while we still got animals left. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like they've taken to shooting from the west side. What brings you here? Wow, that's the strangest thing. Last time it happened, I could swear I heard someone cry out for help. Sounded like a big fella. But when we finally got up the gumption to go look outside, all we found was our cattle. And I know what they sound like when they get upset. I can't imagine what went on. Dusty can probably tell you more about it. Boom. That's that sniper fella. Works in the dinosaur, right? I only met them but once or twice. They seemed real happy together. I really ought to get to know them better. They're probably nice folk. Oh, well, I'm Alice, and you've already met my beau, Dusty. He's sweet, ain't he? I don't care what my mama said. I know how to pick him. We set up this ranch years back when Novak was just getting settled. But now, with all the danger on I-15, folks are starting to come through here from all over. Novak might just be the next Nevada boomtown. Nice of you. Hey, 
What can I do for you? Wasn't sure if she knew anything, but apparently not. Hey there. I actually can't remember how to wait. Good night, I'm totally not gonna break into all your shit. Well, this is certainly an interesting development. Now I wish I had hey there. I hope you're fine. Don't worry, just stand right here. Nothing to worry about. Oh, I lied. Welcome back. Come. That's it then. How did you know? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. Here. This is all I can give. I think our dealings are done here. I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. You don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't gonna end well. Fine. Let's get out of here. And with that, Boone as a companion.
downside is his beret has the, the bonus crit chance that my suave gambler hat doesn't. But I just like this hat so much. So I don't know. This one that I can't remember what I'm supposed to do for it. So you were there, and I couldn't find anyone to talk to about it. Huh. Okay. Well, I'll have to look that up later. Uh, for now, I guess we'll head over to Revcon. There's the thing with the cows too, but I don't seem to have an actual quest for it. How you doing? The other question I have is how do you get the room? I remember you can, I don't remember how. Well, I guess we'll head to Repcon. I know there's another way to get the information from this, but it's worth doing the quest just for the experience and the items you can collect. Another mailbox. I wonder if it has anything good. Sweet. All the magazines today. Yeesh. I hate ghouls so much. It, up until recently, <laughs> they scared the crap out of me, and so I avoided like going into any tunnels in the in any Fallout game or you know any place that would have them. It's not so bad now, but I still hate them so much. Even if you're sticking with like a specific type of weapon for your playthrough or like a specific playstyle, collecting ammo and items for the other ones is still a really good idea because you can get so much money from them. It's a really low effort way to get to get enough money to buy better things or re-ammo yourself. Wow, that was really easy. I guess they really didn't care about their grenades going missing.
Okay, I think the plan is to go clean up the front of this, discover it, and then fast travel out and sell some stuff because I'm definitely overweight and I don't want to go in there and not have any room to collect anything. Looks like there's three or four. That shouldn't be too difficult. Hopefully not, anyway. I will definitely have to come back for that one. One good thing about this one is that ammo doesn't have weight, so you can carry pretty much as much as you can Aside, uh, as a former active duty military member, um, I really like that the animation on the reload for this is pretty accurate to what you would be doing in real life. discovered it, so time to go and sell some stuff. However, it is the middle of the night, so I have to see if there's actually any vendors awake. I don't see anyone, so I think I'm gonna have to actually wait.
Hello there. It's good to see a friendly face. I almost took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Malcolm Holmes. Don't suppose you'd care to trade. I'm missing a few essentials and... Ah, oh, screw this. Lying just ain't in my nature. I'll tell it to you straight. I've been following you for a good bit now. It started off innocently enough. I was traveling, as I often do, and happened to observe you picking up one of those blue star caps. You didn't show any reaction to it, so I figured you didn't know what you'd gotten your hands on. There's an old wasteland legend that says somewhere out there is a fabulous treasure from before the war. Those caps with the blue star on them, the tale goes, are the key to that treasure. They're called Sunset Sarsaparilla Stars. All over the place. The easiest place to find them is unopened bottles of Sunset Sarsaparilla. You'd think they'd all have been picked clean by now, but somehow new bottles keep appearing in the machines. Some say it's old Festus that does it, hoping someone will finally collect enough caps to earn the treasure. Other than bottles, you'll just have to scavenge. You can find caps in the unlikeliest of places, and Blue Star caps are no exception. Nah, I gave it up years ago. Too dangerous. There's people out there so mad with the idea of treasure that they'll attack strangers just on the suspicion that they have some of those caps. No problem. If you do end up trying to collect more stars, watch out for a man named Alan Marks. He's killed several people for this star. Well, if you've seen the previous uh, episodes of this playthrough, uh, you would have noticed that I killed a guy shooting at a woman uh, near Nelson. I didn't at the time mention it, but the reason I did that is because he has a bunch of stars, or she has a bunch of stars, I can't remember which, um, and the one is trying to kill the other to get their stars, and so I figured just kill both of them and take all of their stars. Welcome back. Can of course there is. You're her. And you're still as pretty. Sure thing. Have a look. Whoops. Better put on my newsman fedora here. NCR officials at Camp McCarran were really... Do I need to keep this? I don't know. ...with its monorail line to the New Vegas trip from DC 6. One anonymous official told us... I have almost no explosive skill and I don't really plan on... Uh, leveling it up anymore, so I don't really see the point in keeping that. And I guess I don't really need to keep the varmint rifle if I'm using the service rifle. also probably find a cooking station at some point and try and see what I can make with what little skill I have.
Come back. Ugh, I still can't remember how to get the apartment. Like, do I have the key already? Don't know. Okay, I don't have the key. So, I'm gonna have to figure that out. Because damn it, I want a place to put my stuff. Alright, good. Down a whole bunch of weight, so uh, let's go kill some ghouls. side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up and hurry who I am like I said find the metal staircase in the big room on the east side of the building it's where they used to make rockets get moving that'd be great if there was a decent map which way is east? Wow, okay, I'm not gonna lie, that actually startled me. God damn it, boo. So many laser rifles.
I honestly have no idea how to get around this building, so... It might take me a little while to find that staircase. Keep looking. And I'm full already. That was weird. God damn it, Boone, every time that happens, it startles me. Ooh, this room looks important. I really didn't want to take that bump. Password. Darn.
that looks fun. You mutilated organ. Alright, I'm going to take a quick break here. I will be back in about five minutes. Alright, Smoonskin. I'm letting you in. You better watch yourself. I'll sure as hell be watching you. God, but are you ugly. Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Rude. Your pranks won't work on me, Smooth Skin. They won't work on Jason either. Stop waiting. Forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the wasteland, especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land, a place of safety and healing, a paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the great journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. The demons appeared from nowhere, except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost, nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again, the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should we step outside. Guarantees of safety should we stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Praise the Creator. Bless you, Wanderer. Bless us all. As soon as the underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the great journey can resume. The great journey. All right, Nightkin. Stealing from a garbage can. I never really understood that. It's a garbage can.
dark in here. If you want to use a scope, I can spot for you. Keep you on target. I would, but I don't think I have one. Antler, we have a visitor, an assassin more like. I say kill it, Antler, for safe sake. Hmm? Okay, Antler, I'll ask. Ah, uh, hi, human. Why you come here? A human who is friend to ghouls? Suspicious. You meet the ones upstairs. Antler used intercom, told him stay put. But they want to come down in basement anyways. I cannot allow. My kin are not right in head like I am. They attack you on sight. Ghouls too. They crazy. Your ghoul friends have to wait until you find what Antler brought us to get. Brought you to get? Good. Antler brought us here for a reason. Why was that, Antler? Right, a, a piece of paper, shipment invoice, hundreds of stealth boys sent here a, a long time ago. But stealth boys must be in the one room, one we don't search yet, the one we can't search. A ghoul, but not squishy like others. This ghoul is tough. I thought Antler said, send my kin into that room, but three died. Ghoul is a crack shot and set traps too. After I realize, I heard Antler wrong, so I lock the door to keep Ken out and wait for Antler to tell me what to do. Then, you come along. Antler says you are solution. Yes, Antler says we leave here as soon as we get stealth boys. Let me give you key. Antler had me lock the door. The ghoul inside, not expecting a human. Maybe he don't shoot you. Maybe he will. Okay, let's find these stealth toys. was upstairs but some folks panicked and made for the basement and i went after him well turns out there were even more of those bastards down here than upstairs and things went to shit fast i couldn't find the others so i fell back to this room and set up a nice little kill zone end of story guess the outfit gives that away huh I never did buy into that religious mumbo-jumbo with the robes and all that shit. It gets lonely out in the wastes, okay? And I don't have to tell you, that Bright's group has got some fine-looking goulettes in it. Huh. Or maybe I would have to tell you. Anyway, I helped them out, and they kept me supplied with ammo and pleasant company. Huh. Well, you're polite. I'll give you that. If this was just between you and me, I'd do as you ask. But it's not. I had a friend with me when those mutant bastards came out of nowheres. She panicked and ran the wrong direction. Further into the basement, she's probably dead. But I ain't leaving until I know for sure. I'd have gone looking myself, except I wouldn't last a minute out there. You, on the other hand, seem pretty resourceful. Find my friend. And I'll get out of your way. Thanks. <laughs> Don't 
damn it. You're mine. That was not how I wanted that to go. this thing. Come and get it, you big dumb. Hey. And I bet. Run from me.
Did you find my friend? I... Damn it. All right. You did your part. So I... Oh you are the one dead. Can't run from me. What the shit? Die. Once again, this is not how I want this to go. that to go. Damn it. Evening. Is the way clear? Praise the Creator, and bless you, Wanderer. The way is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement, to the sacred site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Run, run!
Eee. Suddenly, spacemen. From behind, these guys, guys kind of look like Jangles the Moon Monkey. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Our preparations are nearly complete, but the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. If you would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Aw, that's so kind. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the Great Journey. Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Bye. Have you found the components we discussed? Repcon has been ransacked so many times by scavengers, it's hard to know where the components might turn up. If they turn up. Jason has mentioned some industrial ruins to the east that are supposed to be highly radioactive. Later. Uh, I think that guy just disappeared. And lucky for us, there's an exit right here, so we don't have to trek all the way back up through the facility. Alright, first step, we're gonna go clear out some uh, stuff from my inventory and then we're gonna go get this 
radioactive stuff. Welcome back. Can I get you anything? Oh. Well. I mean, but I like you. I think maybe it's time. Come back soon now. Have you found the components? Yes. Scavengers wouldn't know the value of the modules. Okay, so this one's fairly easy to do. You just have to go for a walk. Look at the doggies. Get your ass out of bed. Hi there. I'm old lady Gibson, or so they tell me. I've got odds and ends for sale, and I'm pretty good at fixing things, too. You might have noticed the very large building just north of here. That's Helios 1. The NCR runs the place, so it's off limits to prospectors. As it so happens, I do have some thrust modules, but they're expensive. 500 caps worth of expensive. Darn. Pleasure. So, you're back. Ha and I'll just be taking my money back.
really doesn't have a whole lot for sale. Thanks. Oh, she can't fix my hat. Take. Have you found the components we discussed? Indeed you did. And they seem to be in excellent condition. Yes. I'll tell Jason that the great journey can begin. We have everything we need to launch the rockets, Jason. The great journey can begin. Gather all. May the Creator guide my words and help me speak true. The Almighty Creator has seen fit to answer our prayers. The time has come for us to board the rockets and begin the great journey. Though it may seem that all humans despise us, the Creator has seen fit to instruct us differently. The journey ahead would have been impossible if not for the intercession of two human friends, one you, the other a long-abiding companion. To our new friend, we say thanks, and promise never to forget how he cleared from our path the demons who sought to stay our journey. But to Chris, we owe more than thanks. Chris, you have made this great journey a reality. From this moment forward, you will be remembered as the saint of the great journey. We shall never forget you. I ask that you forgive us, Chris, and give us your blessing. And we bestow ours upon you. Seekers, board the rockets. Take your seats. The great journey awaits. To the promised land we go. To the far beyond.
I leveled up too. And just because I like to watch things explode, I'm going to take bloody mess this time. Oh no. My game just froze. I wonder if there's a quicker way to get out of here. in a circle. I'll go talk to Manny and deal with that. Hey! Oh, look who it is! Leave! Rude. You have any luck with the ghouls? Really? But I had a good feeling about you. Okay. The guy you're looking for, Benny, he was traveling with some members from my old gang. They were going to Boulder City. It's straight up Route 93 from here. Just keep following the road north. No clue. I know Benny had... Hope that... Yeah, see ya. Boy, they really like me. Hey there. All right, we're gonna go deal with uh, this Legion atrocities thing quickly. Mostly because I need to wait until. Heard you helped out Jackson. Thanks for that. What? 
There's... We'll never stop them. I don't know if you know, but since Jeannie may... I think it, it'll open the room on the second. There we go. Oh, look at that. I even have a teddy bear. to stop for today. Thanks for watching. Next time we'll make our way to Boulder City and continue on trying to find Benny.